colorectal cancer is a major cause of cancer-related deaths in the Western world. Colonoscopy screening programs have resulted in a decrease of CRC incidence, but detection of early stages and precursor lesions remain a challenge and a significant miss rate of up to 20% has been reported, especially for non-polypoid lesions of the right hemicolon. Advanced imaging techniques, including confocal laser endomicroscopy, have facilitated detection and characterization of lesions. The translation of molecular imaging into gastrointestinal endoscopy has a high potential to fundamentally impact on our diagnostic and therapeutic algorithms. Cancer cells are detected using wide field techniques and or are microscopically characterized in vivo by their molecular signature. Different targets and exogenous probes such as labeled antibodies and peptides or probes with tumor-specific activation have been evaluated but not yet linked to endoscopic on-site prediction of response to molecular targeted therapy. Progress within the field of molecular imaging has been strongly driven by targeted therapies in oncology. In CRC, autonomous growth is considered to be a multi-step process that includes upregulation of growth factors and the receptors, such as epidermal growth factor receptor. Cetuximab, a chimeric monoclonal antibody against the extracellular domain of the epidermal growth factor receptor, is a component of multimodal chemotherapy of metastatic CRC. Cetuximab competitively prevents binding of the epidermal growth factor receptor and triggers the internalization of the receptor. Careful analysis of molecular alterations in the downstream pathway of the epidermal growth factor receptor rather than ex vivo epidermal growth factor receptor expression analysis has resulted in a better selection of patients and increased response to therapy. However, Cross mutations with response to cetuximab and other predictive markers have recently been identified. All such approaches demonstrate efforts to personalize chemotherapy and minimize the side effects and the financial burden on the healthcare systems. In most patients, response to therapy is only evaluated after months of therapy by cross-sectional imaging. This exposes the patients to considerable risk for time loss with unsuccessful therapy and adverse events, illustrating the need for earlier prediction of response. Guts et al. have previously demonstrated that epidermal growth factor receptor expression can be visualized and quantified in vivo in xenograft models with diagnostic antibodies. In these studies, the authors aim to evaluate molecular imaging with labeled cetuximab for endomicroscopic diagnosis and for prediction of response to therapy. For this, they examine the relation between tumor fluorescence after injection of labeled cetuximab and three clinical parameters, tumor growth, thriving, and mortality in xenograft models of human CRC with high and low expression of epidermal growth factor receptor. In the paper appearing in the June issue of Endoscopy, entitled In Vivo Molecular Imaging with Cetuximab, an anti-EGFR antibody for prediction of response in xenograft models of human colorectal cancer, Guts et al. report their findings. Here is a summary of their study. Background and study aims. Molecular imaging has mainly been studied for detection of lesions using diagnostic probes. 
the aim of the current trial was to evaluate in vivo confocal laser endomicroscopy with cetuximab, an antibody targeting the epidermal growth factor receptor for detection and moreover early prediction of response to molecular chemotherapy in models of human colorectal cancer. Methods Xenografts with cetuximab sensitive HD29 and cetuximab resistant SW620 human CRC cells were induced in 44 mice. CLE was performed 48 hours after injection of a fluorescently labeled cetuximab test dose and compared with isotype antibody or untreated controls on day 0 and day 30. HD29 or day 15 SW620. Initial fluorescence intensity was examined in relation to clinical readouts, tumor growth, thriving mortality during cetuximab treatment versus controls. Results were validated in vivo with wide field molecular imaging in three HD29 mice and ex vivo using fluorescence activated cell sorting and immunohistochemistry. Results All HD29 xenografts showed specific fluorescence in vivo after cetuximab injection on day 0 and day 30. Fluorescence at day zero was significantly stronger in cetuximab treated H29 tumors than in H29 controls. P value 0.0017 or cetuximab treated SW620 tumors, P value 0.0027 and accorded with significantly slower tumor progression, P value. 0.0009, better overall survival, p-value 0.02, and better physical condition, p-value 0.0001. Cetuximab sensitivity could be predicted from fluorescence intensity at day zero with high positive predictive value. Conclusions. Molecular CLE was, for the first time, linked to early prediction of response to targeted therapy in models of human colorectal cancer. Therapeutic antibodies can be used as molecular beacons in CLE and wide field techniques. These results may indicate a promising principle for early patient stratification.